Okay, let's go. Let's go. This is Carl. So yeah, it's been it's been another long time since I recorded my podcast like this. I really hate to say something like this because it just sounds like I don't give a fuck and I never like commit to this. You mean? I mean, I definitely want to commit more, but yeah, you're right. I could definitely commit more. Yeah, what the fuck I'm talking about? Yeah, so I left my、um, adapter、um, that connects my microphone to my laptop at my grandparents' home, so I can only use my phone to record it. But it works the same. It just、um, takes a lot of battery from my phone, and I have to actually,、uh, yeah, just set it to. An airplane mode, so I don't get any phone call or message to interrupt this audio recording. Yeah, I just、uh, took a really good shower. This is、uh, about 4:28 in the afternoon. Today is March 20, March 30th. Yeah, it's been a pretty good day for me. Very chill. I woke up really late this day at 12. Yeah. Two minutes before twelve, because、um, I, you know, struggled to fall asleep. I'm not sure if I, I, I don't think I'm gonna release the, you know, audio memo. I, I mean, the voice memo I recorded on my phone last night when I was struggling to fall asleep, and it was like about I think twelve or something, and then I just spent about like. Two hours just scrolling on my phone through all these platforms, and yeah, until I fell asleep. And I got up at twelve. I went to have lunch with my parents. We had some food、uh, in a restaurant,、uh, like a hot pot restaurant. Yeah, it was it was alright. I didn't really have a lot. And then I went to the gym directly.、Uh, I ran three point. I'm not sure. Three point some kilometers.、Uh, it was quick, and then I waited my friends a little bit. We worked out back, and it was a pretty good workout session. I really just want to work out seriously, man. I want to build up my muscle、um, before this summer, man. It's already getting hot, and I'm still just like really. I mean, I wouldn't say skinny, but I definitely lost a lot of weight,、um, a lot of, you know, muscles. Okay, this face mask is still wet. I'm not sure. Okay, I wish I can put it on for longer, but it's just kind of、um, hard to talk when I'm having a face mask. Okay. All right. So I don't know. What you guys think about me at this point? You're listening or you're watching? Let me know, please. I just want to get to know more about my audience. What kind of people you are? Like, why do you consume my content? And what do you feel when you listening to my podcast or watch this video? What do you feel? And what are you trying to get? And what is the You know, what is your favorite part of about my content, or what is the thing that you wish I can do better? Yeah. Um, I definitely want to summarize my trip to Vietnam through my podcast. I thought about it last night, and that is one of the reasons that got me like up really late because. I feel like I could talk so much about this trip. So much happened. So much amazing things happened. I mean, I've met so many friends that I haven't met for like almost four years since we graduated from college. We haven't met since then, and we have, you know, talked so much. I definitely improved so much in terms of you know communication, like speaking. I have talked so much with them.、Uh, in the past, when I was talking with them, I'm more, I'm, I was more like a listener. Like, you know, I always want to talk and say something and share my point of views. But 
I often just kind of give up trying, and I didn't want to waste people's time and say something dumb, and doesn't make sense. But now I just completely changed on that regard. I talk whenever I feel like to, and I just really enjoy talking in front of people. You know, I met a variety of friends. From all over the world, like people from India, England, Pakistan, and America, yeah. So I just want to travel more and meet more people. Like I often imagine myself, if I can ever go back to my college time, I would yell at myself, talk to more people, talk. To more people, just have more conversations with random people, make more connections, talk with people more. Don't hold yourself back. That's something I want to tell myself, my older self. If that's something, yeah. And so I gotta tell myself right now, like, just imagine in the future, what would I tell myself? Like, what would I regret? I don't know. I definitely would not regret staying at home and spending time with my family, because I always mention that my family is really a lot to me. I mean, they are like the most important people to me. I mean, to most people. The same situation. Ah, <laughs> fuck. Yeah, it's just like I definitely want to travel more, but I would pick. My family, you know, if I have to make a decision, but I guess it's not either or. I can actually do them both. I just have to manage a lot of things well. Like I have to make some money to support myself financially. This is really probably number one challenge to me because I always had this kind of, you know, resistance. I didn't want to make money. I didn't want to like, you know, even try to make some money, some ways. But I think it's the time. I am twenty fucking seven years old, man. Still living with my parents and still asking my mom for everything. I just sometimes I would feel so guilty and little like just shameful, but. I know I shouldn't, cause I made my choice. I chose to stay at home, so which means I'm not gonna work anywhere. I mean, I could, but it's just much harder, you know. And I don't really need to make money to prove myself to be a, you know, successful young kid. But I just wanna, like, actually push myself to grow more, like financially. It it really takes a lot of you know, just financial literacy or you call it consciousness to actually make some money. Without them, you're not gonna make money. Money, something everybody wants, but not everybody can make as much money as they want. But most people they don't have that enough knowledge to make that happen. But Very few people in this society they knew how to get the money. I mean, I can be them, but just my personality just didn't allow me to actually be humble. Or I mean, why do I say humble? Because I just felt like I am like I have always set a very high. Moral standard that I do not want to like、uh, do anything that is against my morality. Like I don't want it, like you know, kind of、um, coax or whatever. What's the word?、Uh, like lie to my clients or customers and sell them something. Because that's the only thing I can think of when it comes to making money for me. Like, I wouldn't go to a 
you know, a company and work for them and make the paycheck money, but more I would want to work for some brands and sell something for them. And then I would, you know, some just consider myself like taking advantage of my customers because I would definitely make some money because I'm selling them something that is not worth the price. That's like my basic understanding, but definitely not accurate. I know that, but I just want to share this perspective with you guys. That's the one thing that has been holding me back. I have done sales job. I have worked at AT and T selling cell phones and phone numbers to customers in the Walmart and Target market. I quite enjoyed it, especially when I got some sales. Yeah, so I don't really have any doubt that I can actually be a very great salesman. I have those qualities. I am very well spoken. I'm very outgoing and generous and kind to people. I think, and I just have that passion to interact with people from all walks of life. This is definitely my gift, influenced by my mom greatly. My mom is a saleswoman. Um, yeah, so I definitely need to think about that. This is something I have to work on this year, twenty twenty three. I have to make some progress financially. I have to actually um, start my own bank account. I mean, I have one, but I need to make my own money instead of asking my mom for money. I hope I can take this thing seriously from now on, and actually figure out something. So when I actually make money, I can pay some money back to my parents because I have spent too much money lately, especially during this trip. So, but it's all good. And then in the future, I can actually travel without worrying about you know spending too much money because I'm gonna make my own money. I really just feel so curious about what would I feel myself when I hear this ten years later or twenty years later, or even my kids watching or listening to this kind of content, sharing this kind of life, real journey.、Um, yeah, I might sound really just like naive and innocent in some sense, but. This is my strengths as well. I'm willing to share my authentic thoughts and feelings and fears and inadequacy, so I can help people and empower more people to believe in themselves. Because I believe in myself, although I, as I said, I didn't really figure out. I haven't figured out everything yet, but I'm willing to share them and document here. Because I know someday I will figure out, so people will get encouraged when they listen and come back to this content and realize that we are all in this journey, and everybody's journey is different, you know. And we all have different struggles in life, but the one thing in common is that we all have to challenge ourselves and grow in every ways. Otherwise, we are not gonna get what we want and become the person we want. And every challenge is tailored to make us the person we are destined to become. Yeah. Okay. I I'm losing my patience again. I don't know why, but let me see. What time is it? It's been only 15 minutes. I think it's long enough. And、um, it's still early. It's 4:41. I definitely want to get some protein tonight. I have worked out, I have run, and I just want to gain more muscle. So I want some beef or salmon or just good quality meat in general. I 
really want yeah I'm feeling kind of hungry now <laughs> yeah okay anyway thank you for checking in and I'll see you guys soon bye